<laughs> Judges, what do you think so far tonight? Shane, what do you think of everything? Can I get a Peroni? A Peroni? <laughs> Can he have a Peroni? Okay, good talk. I go chase five for five, but it's straight dunks like Shaq. <laughs> it takes no risks. <laughs> You may have it, guys. Clap it up for you in a few minutes, guys. Come on, clap it up. Come on, clap it up. Here's the deal. Main event of the night is three rounds. First round is tit for tat. Second round, they do 30 seconds each. And if we have to go to a third round, it'll be tit for tat again. So it's a three rounder, guys. Main eventers are no fucking joke. Both these guys are absolute animals. Uh, your first roasts are coming up all the way from the beautiful city of Detroit. He's 0-2 in roasting, but don't let that fool you because this motherfucker is one of the best in the city. Clap it up as I just get for Joel Walkowski. Yeah. 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 Joel, very good to have you back here, buddy. Thanks for having me. You're 0-2, you're so you got to win this one now. This is a big deal here. Well, as a Detroit Lions fan, I'm used to losing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not, not a sports crowd. Okay. Yeah, obviously, Lewis, we're looking at your body. <laughs> I will fist you. Lewis, 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 what? The Lions are a football team. <laughs> not so. And your competition all the way from Derby, New Jersey's two and one in competition. Clap it up as loud as you can for Zach Omega. Oh, What? Zach is a human football. <laughs> he looks like he should be painting on PBS. <laughs> he looks like if Hot Topic had a baller. <laughs> I last 30 seconds of that ball, but Monica Solo. <laughs> You want to go first and like to defer? I'll defer. You're going to defer to Zach, ladies and gentlemen. First round, 10 for 10. Zach and Nico, Joel Walkowski, main event. Come on, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Joel, watching you do stand up comedy is like watching a retard do stand up comedy. Except sometimes people laugh at retards. <laughs> a lot of comedians work on cruise ships. Zach works as a cruise ship. <laughs> He's trashy, obnoxious, and he has carnival written all over him. <laughs> Joel's from uh, Dearborn, Michigan, the town with the highest concentration of Muslims in America. So he's literally the only guy from his hometown who has absolutely no chance of blowing up someday. <laughs> In front of DJ Isis, really? <laughs> Zach, you live action Mucinex commercial. <laughs> on Kazaa. <laughs> Zach has gone viral and is famous on Reddit. People discovered him when they went to the page and looked up how to make bombs. <laughs> uh, that joke was so tired it couldn't tell Aaron Glazer no. <laughs> I did some research on Joel, guys, and I found out that uh, Walkowski is actually a beautiful Polish word that means must bring eight people to perform. <laughs> <laughs> Zach started comedy at a class at NYU. Today, two of his classmates, who are girls, have their own shows, and Zach is here with me, which is odd because you have by far the most comedic talent in tits. <laughs> you put the jug in juggalo, my friend. That's <laughs> sure. Thank God. <laughs> I'm not saying Joel's a terrible comic, uh, but I saw Zach in, act and uh, tried to post about what it was like on Facebook, and Kurt Metzger and Shay told me I should have went to the police first. <laughs> no! Inside, yes. <laughs> Zach dated a BBW cam model for eight years. She broke up with him via note. It was a credit card bill. <laughs> Zach is bisexual. He currently dates a teacher, so he clearly has a type. 
Pornhub set to random. <laughs> <laughs> they also have a favorite section of Pornhub, the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't as good as we thought. You dancing to me. I mean, it, 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 you know, there's a lot of really good jokes from people. There's also like some bombs with it, but there was some good shit. I mean, I think Joel obviously won, but uh, yeah. you know, I don't know. I think you got in your head right at the beginning or something. You started like shaking a little. You started doing the dancing Jermaine. Yeah, method. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were rooting for you. So Joel takes it. Sorry. First of all, what do you think? He was shaking. I was waiting for fucking milkshake to come flying out of his mouth. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh, wow. But calm down. Here's what I think. Maybe you can find two more comics to headline this. Like now? Uh, I'm going to give it a... Uh, it, God, oh, God. It was fucking... It was good. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with the, the guy that looks like he played high school football. Joe Walkowski takes it. All right, him. Oh, Zach. Okay, Zach. All right, Zach takes it. Okay, one for Zach, one for Joel. Anyway, all right. First, I want to say Zach, you look amazing. You look like uh, Gallagher became one of the fruits he smashed. Um, I uh, I liked. There were hits and misses, but I really liked, I wish you had stopped, just shut the fuck up after you called him the live Mucinex. That was fucking great. That was awesome. And so I'm going to give it to you on that. Okay. No. Joel takes it in. He's fine. Michael J. Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I'm the same way. I think Joel, you went too long on a lot of them, but the first parts were actually really good. You could have just stopped. I don't know why you kept up and tripling up. But yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were a retarded, dude, but yeah. Now, now you see how good he is considering he's retarded. Yeah, now, yeah, now He's unbelievable. So vote for Joel. Joel takes round one, guys. Big J, any feedback? Yeah, these guys, I've watched both these guys before, and I know Zach is a good friend, so it's like these guys are both beasts. So it's like uh, definitely him. Yeah, Zach's a beast. And Joel is food for the mighty beast. <laughs> no, uh, these guys are both fucking awesome. So you know, let's fucking go hard this round. Really take a hot shit on each other. <laughs> It's getting uncomfortable in here. If you can see, letter just started peeling down. So you know things are getting wild in here. Let's fucking make something happen. Round two, I feel good about it. Round two, guys, come on, come on, let's do it. Zach, you first, last time. Joel, you go first, this time. 30 seconds straight through. Ladies and gentlemen, round two, let's roast. Round two, fight. Zach looks like Michael Moore lost 40 pounds and three chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> like a fat bag of lard because you look like someone microwaved a fat bag of lard. <laughs> Zach's grandfather drowned behind the river, behind his house. I guess shortness of breath runs in the family. <laughs> Zach actually bears quite a resemblance to his grandfather after he'd been floating in that river for three days. <laughs> so much water, it looks like you're doing an impression of his lungs. <laughs> oh, wait, oh fuck, I, I forgot to mention that he had dementia. Well, he wouldn't have remembered to tell you either. <laughs> Joel's fiance dumped him over the phone, and then later that day he went to go watch pro wrestling. So that night he saw Monday Night Raw, and she moaned as she got it raw. <laughs> uh, Joel's mom recently lost 200 pounds, not for health reasons, uh, just so she would stop being recognized as Joel Walkowski's mom. <laughs> Joel has a stomach condition that where if he drinks, it'll kill him. And if the girls that fuck him don't drink, they'll kill themselves. <laughs> Uh, Joel gets his clothes from J.C. Penny and his dates from battered women shelters. Uh, but after using them for a night, he can return the clothes without any visible tears. <laughs> yeah. Right. Got you guys. All right. All right. Boys. <laughs> I think uh, I think Zach had the more concise jokes in that one. I think Zach fucking uh, hit that one out of the park. That was great, Zach. 
I'm gonna go with that round, Zach. You should have said you were friends with him before you did such a pandering. I'm just <laughs> way into Zach, so I'm more of a Zach guy. <laughs> Whatever that's about. I mean, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of his early stuff. You know? can, you, can, you, can you believe Jay's friends with someone who makes him feel handsome? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's friends with Mike Lawrence. Yeah, I know. This is the only five minutes I'm okay with Zach not being right next to me. <laughs> Zach, let's go get me some pussy after this. <laughs> You said he hit it out of the park. How small is this park? <laughs> it's a really tiny park. It's like what? It's like Tompkins Square. <laughs> but like you're standing by the fence. <laughs> Michael Chen. I, I think Joel had the best joke with the, the grandfather. Yeah. The, yeah. But I thought Zach was the most consistent, so I'm going to go with Zach. Okay, Zach takes round two. And Michael Chen, Big J's mind. Andy Letterman, what do you think? I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. It was hit or miss. I think they're both extremely talented. I'm not sh like he literally and was like, "Is he retarded?" And I'm like, "I've been trying. I've known him six years. I have no fucking clue if he's retarded or not." Also, you don't drink? No. Jesus, you're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I really like the bloating, uh, bloating joke. So I'm gonna give it to Joel. Even though okay, Joel takes it in Andy's mind. Let's go to Rich Ross. I just want to see his bow tie spin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Right. That would win it for me. I thought his jokes were more roast, uh, roast style than uh, uh, fucking drug heads. Uh, so I'm saying his, his, we'll wait till the last one, but his stuff was more roast style yeah. than his. His was, you know, and whose grandfather didn't drown? <laughs> so who's that? You, you, like, you like Zach? Yeah, I like them. Okay, Zach, take round two. Clap it up for Zach, guys. Yeah! Check out, guys. I agree, Zach. And I agree, Zach. And Zach looks like what would happen if the mom from What's He Didn't Gilbert Grape was directed by Tim Burton. <laughs> 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 Did no one That's fucking a... see what's he did go over in this room? These are all stellar references. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. <laughs> all right, last round, guys. Tip for tat. Zach, you're going to go first this time. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up, clap it up. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, final round. Let's rush. Joel spent years taking care of his crippled aunt, and uh, he honors her legacy to this day by inspiring audiences to walk out of every show he's on. <laughs> there we go. Zach's Snapchat ID is Zach Amico's dick, which is the perfect name for something that only lasts 10 seconds. <laughs> Uh, last year, Joel found out he was sick when he threw up a bunch of blood, and that was the last interesting thing that's come out of his mouth. <laughs> Zach has a dick piercing. I hear that's helpful in the bedroom, because people need a metal detector to find it. <laughs> Joel likes his mics like his victim's cases. Open. Whenever Joel joins in on a gang rape, he asks where the sign-up sheet is and who he gives his five dollars to. <laughs> <laughs> Zach has a lot of body modifications. Can you blame him? Zach um, has the silhouette of a fat girl tattooed on his ribs. It commemorates the time he went to the movies and walked in front of the projector. <laughs> Joel's grandmother was a pedophile. Uh, so at least someone in his family knew what it was like to have a type five. Uh, she touched more people than your comedy set. <laughs> Zach's father has been sober for 30 years, but walked out on the family when Zach was a teenager. 
those 12 steps were the best thing he ever did. For <laughs> it, it didn't hit Zach that hard. He got over it as soon as he heard he was being deserted. <laughs> 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 Joel's left something with every single girl he's ever dated, and usually the cops scrape it out from underneath their fingernails. <laughs> Zach is bisexual. I don't think it's easy to write a joke about bisexuals. Just like Zach's dick, I didn't know which direction to go in. <laughs> Just being with you, it seems like your biggest icon for that is Matthew Shepard's pie. Matthew Shepard reference, we all like that, right? One more time for Zach and Joel. Come on, guys, stop it up. Eddie Letterman, what do you think? By the way, guys, stop it up for both of you guys. One more time. Come on, guys. Explain to the host, to the whole judging panel, what Matthew Shepard was. Yeah, he's tied to the back of the pickup truck. Yeah, no, 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 he was tied to the back of the pickup truck. Have you guys ever masturbated ever in your life? Anyway, he was hot. He was hot. Anyway, okay. Uh, Annie Letterman, what do you think? Um, this was a great round. You guys were awesome. I'm gonna go with Zach on this one. Um, I can't remember the joke, but I like it. Great judging. Okay, Chris Boss, what do you think? Zach, we want Iron Chef. Okay, anyhow, uh, I'm gonna end like he did. Uh, five for ten. Uh, Batting five hundred. Uh, you know what? Like they, said, they both had good ones, but again, his were more roast style. And 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 as a disciple, you know, a follower of Jeff Ross that I am, uh, my hero, the roast master, not Dean Martin. I'm going to have to go with uh, the Goodyear guy. Zach and me. The Michelin man. Uh, I, but i got to say this. I do love every time Joel says a joke. He kind of gives himself a little smile like he's proud of himself. And then he goes on too long and it goes all the same. Yeah, yeah. He, it's great. It really is. Uh, Zach, were you mad when they didn't cast you in the remake of Ghostbusters? <laughs> I just like the marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the best uh, the best joke I thought the whole ra uh, the whole battle was Joel's Mucinex joke without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the best yeah, one. Um, but I gotta go with Children of the Corn, Lou Pearlman tonight. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I thought he had this round. It was a great oh. round. You guys both did great. But, Zach, uh, you the best man, yeah, so yeah. 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 Either way, let's get some feedback. Final thoughts, Michael Chag. Uh, yeah, I had Zach winning too. That that last round was really, really, really strong. And Joel's just as funny, but he's it's, it's just, you end too bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just gotta know when to end. Like, well, on the biggest lap, just stop. <laughs> you know? Just be like, no. But what do you do on the biggest lap when there's no laughs? Listen, bro, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I work for great institutions. <laughs> <laughs> Big J, final thoughts of the night. Yeah, Joel's fine. He's gonna go with some hot pussy tonight. You did this for fat people everywhere, Zach. Uh, <laughs> Me and you were gonna jerk off the lobster tube together on the phone tonight. It's a weird shit. People fucking food and that kind of stuff. Matthew Shepard. And Matthew Shepard thoughts. <laughs> Too real? Oh, nobody knew who it was five minutes ago. Fuck everybody here. Yeah! 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 Yeah!